Well, it wasn't actually that quick that my dad did pass away. Um, when we left the room, all the family were out except my mum, who wanted to be there, told my dad basically couldn't take any more. Um, but like I say, we had had enough as a family and we, uh, we, we couldn't obviously take any more seeing the way that my dad was. Um, so we actually all headed down as a family back down to Dumfries um, and then we all went our separate ways because um, unfortunately as far as I was concerned that was my dad gone then. I didn't want the final phone call to say that he'd actually had his last breath. So was, we knew it was coming unfortunately um, but my mum actually stayed at the by his bedside throughout the whole thing and he and he fought for about six and a half hours on his own with um, no support machine. Um, so it was just a matter of kind of getting on with things that day and like I say, we maybe got back down the road for tea time and my, I still received a phone call from my, bro my brother which was two minutes past ten at night to say that officially that was, my dad had had enough. It, it would have been very hard for my mum, um, but like I say, she was by his side the whole, throughout the whole thing um, and she had a few hours on her own which in a way would have been a wee bit nice that she could obviously say what she needed to say and just be there um, for my dad and then she was actually put up in the, the hotel next to the hospital um, because mum had made the decision and asked if we'd all be happy to go but she wanted to, to stay throughout the whole the whole, basically, okay. the whole last bit of my dad. And how, do, how did you yourself cope once, once your father had died? Um, at the time, it was just a matter. I just kept myself to myself. Um, the next couple of days, obviously, we did spend a lot of time at my mum's house and at my grandparents' house, just trying to be there for each other. Um, it's very difficult because everyone deals with things like um, bereavement that in different ways. and. We are a very close family, like I say, with them. We all felt that it wasn't just a dad, it was a friend we were losing, so it was it was very difficult. Um, but it was just a matter of being there for each other when we could. Um, but we did spend a bit of time on our own as well, just at our own houses and try to deal with things ourselves. Um, because it obviously just, it's too much tension on everybody, just constantly trying to be there. And, you know, if, if somebody's getting to cope with things a wee bit better until obviously the arrangements for funerals and everything. If somebody's wanting a quiet 10 minutes but you're in their face wanting a bit of support, it's it's difficult to get that happy medium um, because much as you want to be there, you've, you've, you don't want to make it too awkward by, like I say, because everyone deals with it different.